Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Look, there are some crazy federal crimes. Did you know that it is illegal to leave the state of Michigan with a turkey that has been hunted by a drone? Did you know that it is illegal to snorkel within 300 yards of the Hoover Dam? Did you know that it is illegal to make an unreasonable noise in front of a horse at a national park? But how many federal crimes are there exactly? Well, nobody knows for sure. Literally, even the federal government itself doesn't know. Back in 1982, they tried to tally up the total number of federal crimes through the Justice Department. It took more than two years, and their final report determined that there were, quote, approximately 3,000 federal crimes. But even that wasn't an exact number. And whatever the exact number is, surely it's increased in the 40 years since then. So the Count the Crimes to Cut Act would require the federal government to tally up the exact number of federal crimes, along with listing the maximum potential criminal penalty for each crime and the total number of people prosecuted in the last 15 years for each crime. Unlike that 1982 study, which took more than two years, this one would have a deadline of one year, after which it would be uploaded and made publicly accessible on the Justice Department website for everybody to see. The bill was introduced in the House by Texas Republican Representative Chip Roy. Chip Roy is his name. So, I, now I think it's time for me to commit a federal crime of my own. No joke, it is illegal to sell canned peaches as sliced unless they are wedge-shaped. Say, Josh, want to buy some of these... Uh, canned peaches that are sliced into cube shapes? No, Jesse, that's illegal.